Hey, yo, Jay. Yo, what's up? Yo, what, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm just working on some stuff now, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I got another RAM video huh? on AAA for you. An RAM video on AAA. Another... I have to make yeah. another rant on AAA gaming? Are you kidding? Yeah, man. I mean, it's Ubisoft. I just need one. Put the pricing out. Uh, oh, my God. Stuff. Ubisoft? Yeah, oh, so my God. Right. Here we go again. Yeah, talk about it, man. You gotta do it. So we all know that AAA gaming is a cesspit, and it's, it's pretty horrible these days. But Ubisoft are a particularly interesting case, because not only do they have the common problems that a lot of these gaming companies have these days, sexism in the workplace, under-treating employees, just in general being b**ks. Um, but now they also have the- I can't say that. And just in general being really bad, they are also deciding to screw over us, their customers. Now the thing that made me want to make this video was the recent controversy on the Star Wars Outlaws pricing, because that has just been released, and the pricing models are, to say the least, really, really bad. And I wanted to make this video just to talk about how disgusting I think Ubisoft is as a company and how disappointing they are as well, but also just to kind of make a broader statement on general AAA gaming as well. Because we all know that in AAA gaming, it's not us that matters. It's not the quality of the game that matters. The only thing that matters is that green line going up, because the only thing that really matters is the shareholders making their money. And they would do that in what every way they can, even if that means screwing over their own fan base. Now, I'm not saying anything new or revolutionary here, we all know that, we've all seen it happen time and time again, and we just all kind of expect it at this point. However, it seems that people are hitting their limits with Star Wars Outlaws, and I say, good, it's about time, because these prices are completely outrageous, and not to mention the things that they have in these Gold and Ultimate Editions are really, really crap. Okay, so just taking a look at this edition, here's what you get for the standard edition. You get the basic game and a Raider bonus pack. Now that's for pre-order, obviously, so you do get the base game, apparently, but here's where it gets weird, because if you get the gold edition, you get three days early access and a season pass. A season pass? What? Okay, they have DLC for this? The Star Wars Outlaws season pass includes two DLCs that will release after launch, Keep exploring the world of Star Wars Outlaws with all new stories, quests, and areas to discover. Okay, fair enough. The Jabba's Gambit exclusive mission available... Oh no. <laughs> okay, so this was one of the, the big things that is annoying people and is also really annoying me. We've seen this happen quite a lot in AAA gaming recently. We've seen it happen with Red Dead 2 and with Hogwarts Legacy, where these games will launch with exclusive missions that are only available either on certain platforms or in pre-order packs with certain editions. Now this is disgusting. This is a disgusting behavior, and this is what I meant when I say they don't mind screwing us over to get that extra bag. So bear in mind, this is not that. This is an expensive upgrade. This isn't like £10 extra or something like that. This is an entire... 30 pounds more. Wait, 60, 70, 80, 90, 35. It's 35 pounds more. It's 35 pounds more to get an exclusive mission. Now, yes, you do get two DLCs that were released after launch, right? That's the point of a season pass. I'm okay with that. I've got no problem with that at all. But locking a mission behind this, a mission that is there at launch, it's ready, it's playable for everyone, but you are deliberately cutting it out of the game to try and incentivize people to buy this more expensive edition, that is scummy. That is screwing over your player base to try and get more money out of them in an already expensive game. £60 is a lot of money for a game. And I'm just, I'm really, really, really sick of that. I'm sick of when it happened with Red Dead 2. I hated when it happened with Hogwarts Legacy, and it's no different here. That is ridiculous. And in my opinion, it's inexcusable. Now, I know there's going to be people who say, well, Jake, it's only one mission. Who cares? It's just like one exclusive mission. I care. I, if I'm paying £60 for a game, I expect that full game. Now, DLCs and stuff, yeah, that can be argued different. But to cut a mission out of launch to then put it in a more expensive thing. That is ridiculous. And it's a mission that people are gonna want. You can tell by the name. People are gonna wanna play this mission, obviously. But they are cutting it out deliberately to try and milk more money out of you. You can't be okay with that. You shouldn't be okay with that. If this was any other product in the real world, it would be getting flamed. And this is now finally getting flamed. Even though it's been happening for years, people are finally realizing 
I'm sick of this. I'm sick of companies milking more and more money out of me. This is inexcusable. And it is, it is inexcusable. And I'm glad people are finally waking up to that because it, why? This shouldn't be allowed. This shouldn't be okay. And the three days early access thing as well is yet another thing that I really, really hate seeing in games because that isn't really three days early access, is it? Let's be honest, that's the real release date. The people who are buying the standard basic edition, they're just getting it three days later. That like that the game actually releases three days earlier than it says because that's what they're selling. This is unbelievably scummy. And again, it's just finding more ways to push you into buying that expensive edition. Now I can deal with skins, I can deal with actual DLCs. But this, this is ridiculous because who's going to want to wait an extra three days early? Most people are going to buy this gold edition, which is a hundred pounds just for the three days early access. That is unbelievable. You're spending a hundred pound on a game that is 60 because it, they offer you three. They shouldn't be allowed to do this. I like, they really shouldn't. That is just incredibly scummy and disgusting in my opinion. Now in the ultimate edition, which is 115 pound, you get a few bundles and a digital art book, right? I'm fine with that. Again, I can handle skins. Now we all know how Ubisoft monetize their games, right? We see it with Assassin's Creed. We see it with a bunch of stuff. They always, always put skins into a store even in single player games because people will buy that. Now that is a problem to me because obviously I think these skins should be earnable in game. I think you should be able to buy them from stores with in-game currency but obviously that's not the world that we live in. Enough people buy these skins that they keep doing it so you know what can you do about it right? I can live with that. But the three days early access unlocking actual content, actual game content behind this gold edition is disgusting. It's, it's absolutely disgusting and we, we shouldn't stand for it because that is not okay. That really is not okay. And Ubisoft should be getting hate and flame for this because it is disgusting and I'm, I'm glad that they are because if any other developers did this they would be getting shit for it too. Now here is where it gets interesting because you can see here that this is the ultimate edition, right? And for $14.99 a month with Uplay Plus you can get the ultimate edition, which is 115 pounds. Why would they do that? You might ask why, what would be the reason for that? Well, a simple subscriptions make more money than selling an actual product because the majority of people will subscribe to a service and then completely forget that they have subscribed to it. I do it myself all the time with Disney Plus, Netflix, everything, Spotify. I forget that I'm subscribed to them. Now granted, I do use those frequently anyway, so I wouldn't unsubscribe but I do forget. And you can bet that there is gonna be a lot of people who sign up to Uplay Plus because of this offer, because wow, they get the ultimate edition for only 15 pounds. So they'll subscribe and then they will forget to unsubscribe when they're finished with the game. Either that or they'll just decide to say subscribe because, you know, just in case, just in case they wanna play something else here, just in case something new comes out. It's all about trying to funnel you into this Uplay subscription because that in the long term is gonna generate more money than selling actual copies of the game, which is weird to think about, I know. But again, you can look at Xbox Game Pass and how well that's doing and how much they're prioritizing that just to see how well subscription models work because they really, really do work. So that is why these editions are being priced so outrageously because normally you would get a standard edition for 60 pound and then this gold edition would be maybe 10 pounds more. And I would still be furious about three days early access and locking a mission behind it, but if it was only £10 more, I could forgive it a little bit, but it's not, it's £35 more, which is insane. And then the Ultimate Edition is going up to £115, which again, is absolutely insane. I don't think they really expect many people to buy this, maybe a few whales, but most people aren't gonna buy this and they are gonna buy this Uplay Plus subscription instead, because again, why wouldn't you? You get the most expensive edition, plus a bunch of other Ubisoft games for the price of 15 pounds. So there's no doubt in my mind that all of this pricing was done specifically to get users to subscribe to Ubisoft Plus in the hopes that a lot of them will either stay subscribed because why not, or they'll just forget to unsubscribe. This again is a really, really scummy tactic of milking your player base and your consumers. 
because you are hoping that they'll be forgetful enough and stupid enough to forget to unsubscribe and you can just continue to take consistent money out of them every single month. Now, whether you think Uplay Plus is good value or not is completely up to you. I, however, don't think it is. I think £15 a month for a bunch of Ubisoft games is outrageously priced. Again, you can look at Xbox Game Pass, that's £10 to £11 a month, and you get hundreds of games, hundreds of Xbox first party games and indie games all within that subscription. That, to me, is good value. However, £15 a month for Ubisoft titles? Not so much. Now, I, I actually like some Ubisoft games. I think they're capable of making games, and this is why it's so disappointing to see this and, and why I think it's so disgusting as well. Because Ubisoft are a very, very weird case because they actually sometimes do make really good games. And of course, back in the day, they used to be known as revolutionizers in the gaming industry. But even now, they do still try new stuff with their games. Hate Watch Dogs Legion all you want, but you have to admit it was an interesting idea and it was a big risk. No other AAA company on this planet would take a risk like that to make a game that's trying to do something new. Even though in the end it didn't work out, they still tried and you have to give credit for that. And they do do that a lot. A lot of their games do really try new things and go in interesting directions. And I think that's why they still are a successful company today. That's why they still have fans. And that is also why it's just so frustrating when they keep doing stuff like this. They keep screwing over their customers. They keep pulling these horrible, horrible things and they keep treating their employees like crap because this could be a great company. It really could. They could be one of the best AAA companies in the world if they would just stop doing this kind of stuff. Speaking of scummy things, it is now 9.30 p.m. and I was just winding down for tonight and I went on my phone and I seen yet another article from Ubisoft doing yet a scummy, scummy thing. So I had to make this little part to put in the video because I've still got more stuff to talk about apparently. Uh, it just never ends with Ubisoft. So not only do they have microtransactions in their game, not only do they have ads in their game, not only do they treat their employees and just general customers like crap, what they are currently now doing with the crew is again perfect timing for all of this to happen because it is just unbelievable. I can't believe it. So for those of you who don't know, the crew servers are being shut down for the original game, which means the only way to play it now is to play the crew too, because there's no single player offline option. And any hope that players may have had of starting their own servers somehow through some way and getting that game alive again is now gone because Ubisoft, get this, are revoking game licenses for the crew. If you own the crew on Uplay, you are probably going to lose that license because they're just going to take it from you, which means you can't even launch the game anymore. Now, this isn't the first time Ubisoft has done something like this. They are known for delisting a lot of their old games, but my God, to actually just revoke your license, that is unreal. And that is why I think it's such a big issue that they're not on Steam and that they have their own launcher because a lot of people will say, well, it doesn't matter. Just download their launcher. It's not that big of a deal. But if these games were on Steam, they have much less control over things like this because revoking your license, they have to go through Steam to do it. And whether Steam will allow that or not, I don't know, but I very much doubt it. And if they do, there's usually a way to get a refund with Steam because Steam is known for being consumer friendly. However, since everything is on their own platform, Ubisoft Connect, they can do whatever they want. So I just wanted to make this segment just to put in here and say like, buyers beware. If you do buy any Ubisoft games, just know that they are literally known for revoking licenses from people. It doesn't matter if you bought the game, if you have it on Ubisoft Connect, they can just take that from you completely and you can never play that game again. That's money gone, essentially. And that also kind of leans into a whole argument of games being digital now and not physical anymore. And again, Ubisoft again are really pushing for that. With Star Wars Outlaws on the cover, it says that you need an internet connection to download the game, even if you buy it on disc, which means essentially the disc is just a key that there's no actual game on that disc you still have to download it which essentially means that even if you buy the physical copy sometime in the future if something happens with the licensing or they just decide to do it they can revoke that key from you they can make sure you never play star wars outlaws again just like they're doing with the original crew and another thing ubisoft are known doing for their launcher is actually just removing your account that's again something <laughs> they do they literally 
remove your account if you don't log in for like a year or a couple of years. I don't know the actual time limit, but if you just don't log into your account and there's not any activity on it, they will just straight up delete it. Now they do send you like a warning email a few weeks in advance, but if you miss that email for whatever reason, your account is gone. Every game you have ever purchased on Ubisoft Connect is gone. It's completely gone. Your entire account is deleted. That's insanity. That's insane. I just, I... I can't understand it, I really can't. It's just unbelievable that I had to sit here at 9 p.m. to add this little part onto the video talking about how disgusting Ubisoft is because they just, again, did something disgusting. It's, I, I can't wrap my head around this company. I feel really sorry for the PR guys at Ubisoft because, oh my God, you guys have a fire on your hands, let me tell you. That is just unbelievable. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Just recently, they released a 2D Prince of Persia kind of platformy side-scrolling game, which I haven't played because that's not my sort of thing, but I've heard from people who like those sort of games, it's amazing. Now, from what I'm aware, that, that game did not make its money back. It wasn't a success, but it was a risk. It was a risk that Ubisoft took. Again, any other AAA company would not do that in this day and age. They just wouldn't try and make risky games, but Ubisoft still do. And, and that's why it's just such a frustrating thing. Let's look at Star Wars Outlaws itself, right? Because that just got a new story trailer. And I think this is shaping up to look like a pretty good game. I'm still skeptical because it is a Ubisoft title. We don't actually know what to expect from the gameplay. And I can see it 100% just kind of being a very mid experience where, you know, these narrative choices aren't really narrative choices. They don't actually go anywhere. And the gameplay just kind of being fine. You know, I can see it just being another general Ubisoft title that we've seen hundreds of times before, but it also could be something really great and it could be an amazing game, which just makes all of these pricing things even more outrageous because if this does well, if this game does well, don't think for a minute that other AAA companies aren't going to look at this and go, hang on, why don't we do that as well? If Ubisoft are doing all of these things and hiding content behind all of these additions and charging outrageous prices for it and that's working for them, we can do that too. And you're gonna start seeing it more and more. But at the same time, I'm not gonna sit here and tell people don't buy this game. I'm not gonna sit here and say don't play Ubisoft titles because people are gonna do that anyway. Even if you decide to boycott this game and you don't touch any Ubisoft titles in the future either until they change their ways, there's still gonna be a huge number of people who do play it, especially this one because it's Star Wars. That is a huge IP. And that's another thing as well. Ubisoft continue to get their hands on these huge IPs. They just released an Avatar game. They're releasing this now. They continue to make what I think can be interesting games. They do still innovate and they have their hands on huge IPs, which means inevitably these are going to make money. Even if this game turns out incredibly mid, it's still gonna make a buttload of money just because of Star Wars alone. And that is the horrible truth of all this. I think Ubisoft is a disgusting company. I think they have horrible business practices and I think they screw over their consumers. However, they're still gonna make money because the games that they make, whether you like them or not, they appeal to a lot of people and they will continue to make money. And I haven't even talked about half of the stuff that Ubisoft actually do bad yet. I mean, they've been trying to shove ads into their single player games for years. They'll kind of creep this feature in and then as soon as someone posts about it, they'll go, oh, nope, sorry, that was a bug. That wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't a bug. It, they were trying to push this out to see how far they could get with it and see how people would react. They want to put ads into their single player games. They're already selling skins in their single player games and charging outrageous prices for the additions of the games. And they're going to continue to do so. And that is disgusting. But people are still going to play the games because they appeal. So again, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you don't play Star Wars. I'm not gonna sit here and say boycott Ubisoft because that just won't work anyway. It, it's a pointless effort. And if you look at Star Wars and you actually like what you see, then go ahead, buy it. I'm, I'm not gonna stop you. I mean, I'm probably gonna be playing it myself. Even though I'm sitting here talking about this, I am gonna be a bit of a hypocrite and probably end up playing it myself because A, I wanna make a video talking about it and B, it does look like a pretty fun time. And that is why Ubisoft is going to continue to be a disgusting company and there is just nothing any of us can do about it. And I guarantee you that AAA companies are going to see this and continue to follow along. Now, I hate making these videos. I don't like sitting here ranting. I don't like sitting here making negative things. And I hate, hate moaning about the AAA space, but 
Sometimes I feel like I have to because I see stuff like this and I just kind of feel like I have to talk about it and I have to at least try to do something even if nothing is going to change. And I know nothing's going to change because people are going to continue to buy the games. People like me, people who just want to play good games. Now, I'm not going to buy any of the Standard Edition or the Gold Edition or the Ultimate Edition. I'm going to play it on Uplay Plus and then I'm going to cancel my subscription immediately because I know I will actually remember to do that. But again, there's going to be a lot of people who also decide to play it on Uplay Plus and will forget to cancel their subscription and they will continue to be charged for possibly years and make Ubisoft way more money than they ever would have by just buying the standard edition of the game. And on top of all of this, you can absolutely be sure that there is going to be an in-game store for Star Wars Outlaws. There's going to be a store that is full of cosmetics for you and the little pet creature thing you have and probably for your ship. Now whether you'll be able to actually buy cosmetics in game I have no idea. I really hope so because I don't want to play a single player RPG and not be able to buy clothes but you can bet that all of the best clothing is going to be locked behind a paywall inside of a store and it wouldn't surprise me if they try and put ads in this game again eventually. Maybe a year down the line, maybe two years down the line. But at some point, there will be a video of someone playing this game and they will get an ad pop up for a new outfit. Because that's just what Ubisoft do. They are disgusting in almost every single way. They screw over consumers. They screw over their employees. They just don't care. They are the mo one of the most money-hungry publishers in the gaming industry. Like, one of the most. One of the worst. Up there with EA. And that is saying something, so I don't know, it sucks. And I just wanted to make this video just to talk about how disgusting I think Ubisoft is, but also how disappointing it is because they do make good games sometimes and they are one of the few AAA developers who still innovate and try new things. And if they just weren't so scummy, they genuinely could be one of my favorite developers that I would support every time. And again, I haven't even talked about them not putting their games on Steam. They only put their games on their launcher, on their storefront, so again, they can maximize the money that they make from you. They don't care about you. They don't care about their employees. They only care about that green line going up and appeasing shareholders. That is it. And again, I just want to emphasize that I think Ubisoft is one of the most creative companies out there in the AAA space. They still take risks. They still try new things. I think it's just the shareholders and the money hungry people at the top who are really, really ruining this company. And I want to try and do something better. I want people to learn. Now, I want people... If you want to play Star Wars Outlaws, play Star Wars Outlaws, but try and pay for Uplay Plus, but then cancel your subscription immediately so it doesn't renew. That way you don't give them any more money. I don't want them to lose money on this, so it's a failure and they never make another one, but I kind of do because I want people to show them that, hey, this isn't okay. We're not going to stand for these kind of prices. We're not going to stand for this kind of crap. It's the same with the in-game store, you know? Don't buy the cosmetics that are in the store. That I can 100% say. Because no matter how good they look, no matter how exciting they might be, they're not going to provide anything to your gameplay experience. You can choose not to buy that skin. And they will see that. Again, vote with your wallet here. Do not buy any skins that are in Star Wars Outlaws. Do not buy the Ultimate Edition. Do not buy the Gold Edition. Just pay for Uplay Plus and then immediately cancel. Immediately stop the auto renewal. So that way when the month is over, they are not getting any more money from you. That way you can play the game through and through. You can still have a good experience with it. Just please do not buy the microtransactions. Because eventually, eventually, if enough people do not buy those microtransactions, they will stop putting them in. If people do not pay for these incredibly expensive versions, they will stop selling them. They will bring the prices down. They will stop doing all of this scummy stuff if it stops working. And they're essentially giving you a way to do that here. They're giving you a pass. They're saying, you play plus is right there. You can get the game for cheaper. Just please, please, please remember to cancel that subscription. Do not fall for their trick. Do not continue to pay them month after month for something you're barely using. And for the love of God, please do not buy microtransactions in a single player title. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to rant about this a little bit. Um, this video had no purpose. It had no point to it or ending. Um, I just kind of wanted to make aware of some of the things that Ubisoft do. And I wanted to talk about the Star Wars thing. Um, I want to talk about the ads in the game and just a lot of the scummy stuff that Ubisoft do. Um, but also the potential that they have to be a better company. And I know nothing's ever going to change, but um, now you're aware, I guess. So thank you guys for watching. 
Uh, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, so that way you don't miss a video. The next video will be on Avowed. It's a little bit more positive than this one. Um, but yeah, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.